Hello friends, this is Scott, and this was last weekend at the Hobby Farm. This is another project that I was able to accomplish. I was uh, putting the wire fencing around the apple trees. There's a Fuji and a Gala. Why do we need to do this? It's because the deer are coming, and uh, they'll eat these trees. They love apple trees. Now, the pasture trees, the shade trees that I planted earlier, I did a narrow fence. And if the deer want to browse low on the tree, I don't really care. It's uh, I don't want any limbs down that low anyway on a shade tree. But on apple trees, I made these much wider. And so it's a four foot circle and it's two foot. I measured from the trunk out and when I, when I pounded in the uh, fence posts and then I just stretched wire. Now on the first one I did, and I didn't have enough wire to do the second one last weekend. So I didn't film either how I did it. But So I had to run to the store and I had to come back and I made another quick trip down just to be able to finish this up. But here's what the first one looked like and it turned out pretty good. Then I want to talk about a possible tragedy at the hobby farm. Now that's Thing, and that's Theo. Theo's a beautiful white tomcat with a little bit of black on top of its head. And so, you know, I haven't seen any other white cats around. And as I come back into town, what do I see? My heart dropped. I said, is this Theo? I mean, this is a, you know, a good quarter mile or more from the house, but it's on the main highway and I and, uh, don't know if Theo made it or not. So I couldn't bear going to look right away. So I just went back to the hobby farm and, and finished a task. And so while my mind was possibly grieving, I decided I'm going to go ahead and take care of this project and maybe Theo will show up while I'm here. And then I can, you know, it's sad for the other cat, but I'm hoping it's not my cat. Well, here's the wire that I used. It's a four foot by 50 welded wire, two by four. Now, this is not what I'd want to use if I had cattle pushing on this, but I think it'll be strong enough for the deer. And this is the same type of fence I used for the, the perimeter fencing around the, the part of the, the back of the pasture that's not going to be animal related. So it's as simple as, as you unwind wind it, you've got some little ends here. Now, this is what you want to cut so that you have these to attach. You have some wire to attach the fence together. So. So where I'm touching there is I, I took my little cutters and uh, it's easy to cut and I, and I cut those off. So now I have an end that uh, I can bend around the other wire as I make the circle. One word of advice is make sure you know where the little pieces of wire that fly off as you're cutting them. Because uh, you don't want this uh, being hit by the lawnmower and, and uh, you don't want it puncturing your tires if you throw it in the garbage. So now here's a look at the second one. I'm going to show you more of a close up as to what I actually did, how I accomplished this. Now I just basically take one end and wrap it around until I come to the other end. And I, again, I'd already cut that, that one side, so I'm ready to wrap. As we look around the other side there, you see where I had cut the end off. And now I'm just measuring the fence to see where I need to cut the other side. And I'll cut it so there's a little bit of a tag end on that side also, so we can wrap it around both ways to make sure it's tight. Now here's a look at how I attach the wires together to make the rounds. You know, there's a tag end on both sides as I pull the wire together and I just wrap it around and from one side to the other and the other side to the other and wrap it a couple times and you're good to go. So it's a very simple process, uh, nothing to it. So here's a look at the second finish round and it turned out pretty good. So I think these trees are going to be successfully protected from the deer. Again, it's only four feet tall, so they, can they climb up on it and can they reach? Uh, probably, I'm hoping that it's with the two feet around each side that they're not going to be able to reach with their necks, but who knows? I just don't want them to top the tree. So, mission accomplished. And just in time, as this little guy ran across the street just after I finished the uh, putting the second wire on. So they're around and they're ready to start eating. While watching this deer, my thoughts are still with old Theo and hoping he's going to be okay, and look who showed up. So he was fine. He was not the poor kitty that was smashed in the road. And so I'm thankful uh, that he's that he's okay. I did go back and, and uh, before Theo check, showed up, I did go back and check and I, I picked up the cat and it was a, it had white with, with yellow on its back. So it wasn't Theo, and uh, but he did show his face and he's safe and sound and really thankful for that. 